Just was working on a roof, moving some stones and stuff, and you know, had been up there for a while, hot day, and I had fallen backwards and landed on my back on concrete. I don't really remember much of that. I was life flighted. Yeah, it was definitely a life-changing experience. One minute, you know, you're with your, your teammates, you know, working out during the summer. Next thing you know, 40 feet later, you're waking up in a hospital bed, not really sure what just happened to you. So I spent five days in the hospital, then I got out, and thought it was always in my mind, you know, I wouldn't be able to walk normal again. It's scary, but I tried to be there for my teammates, you know, I'd go, start to go to practice, and that would just, that'd be really tough, because they're out there working hard and complaining about, you know, running too many 40s or whatnot, and I'm just sitting there like, I wish I could run right now, period. And, you know, even going to practice and stuff, I kept telling my friends, like, I'm going to play. Even though someone would be like, yeah, yeah, it's a good, good idea, they, they still, in the back of their heads, you know, you knew they, they just, they're like, there's no way he's going to play. The last home game of the season, I finally got, you know, permission to play for my doctor after, you know, a lot of rehab and stuff. One day they were out there stretching and stuff. I come walking out in full pads. Everyone got pretty excited. Man front for Dennison. They'll go back and fake a handoff to Bush. Whalen keeps it. Now fires it out to Caldrick. He hits him at the 40. I was looking to you know, take the role of you know being a go-to guy and try and make plays for the team. And, and I'd been successful in doing that the previous eight games. A week nine against uh, Washu, blocking somebody and someone fell on my leg. And unfortunately, I'm missing out on one of our, our best seasons, you know, because obviously the case had never gone undefeated before. Rolls out again, wants to fire it to the end zone. There it goes. Cowdrick is open again. He goes up for it. He makes the catch again. It's a touchdown. You can never grab me like, oh, I, I should have been able to do that. You know, I should have been able to do this. But you know, just being able to play football, one of my goals was to come and, and try and be an All-American. That's obviously a high goal to set. A lot of players out there. But you, know, you got to set your goals high and work hard towards them. Whalen will roll out on first down, goes deep downfield, fires it to Kaldrick, he takes a hit. You just gotta look it in, be ready to take the hit. It's something that uh, I've always enjoyed doing, you know, going over the middle, going up against bigger guys and stuff. And, uh, you know, me and Dan kind of got this thing, you know, he knows he, he can put the ball there and I'm still gonna catch it. You know, he always apologizes after he gets me laid out. You know, just coming across the middle, seeing where the linebackers are, where the flow is. When a play breaks down, be able to move around and, and find an open spot. From the shotgun, Whalen, the senior, rolls to the right, fires down to Caldrick, it's a touchdown. The fact that we've been able to take a school that was not known for athletics, people didn't even know Case had a football team when I came here. Still, sometimes people are just like, oh, Case is a football team. And it's like, yeah, we're actually pretty good, too. We set goals at the beginning of the year to be UAA champs, number one, and then undefeated season, and then go to the playoffs. Just the fact that we've been able to come together as a team and accomplish all these goals is, is something really great.